Om Shanti, welcome back. We are doing the recording of 30th of September's Gauri Blessing. Now, Supreme Godfather over here is talking about revelations. Now, revelation over here means that you are revealing the presence of God amongst us on earth, this very earth, yes. So, he leaves his supreme abode and comes down on earth when there is extreme degradation of human mind. The behavior, the thoughts and the words do not match. So people say something, they think something and they do something else. And that is when God knows that his children have become or his creation has become completely impure. Each soul has become impure and their actions through their bodies have become impure and they need to be refined. And that's the time the revelation needs to be done. He comes down and he reveals himself in a very ordinary manner that souls who are body conscious, wealth conscious, and their intellect conscious or the having the ego of their intelligence cannot recognize such a simple lord and that's why god says that you need to become simple in order to reveal the supreme creator your simplicity your bholapan or your your naiveness is something which will make other souls realize that yes it is still possible to do things in a very simple way and straightforward way with a clean and clear heart and be successful in this world. So let's see what does God have to say over here. Supreme Creator says, May you be a victorious jewel and enable everyone to receive the Father's blessings with the balance of revelation and your promise. In order to beat the drums of revelation, make a promise with determination. What is the promise which you are making? That we are going to utilize the virtues in our life and not the vices in our life. No impurity. People generally say if you have to survive in this world, you have to become like a crook. Or you have to become very evil to survive in this world. God says you may be able to survive in this world. You might be able to earn a few millions and billions. But at the end of the day, the peace of mind, the love, the happiness, which can come without the material world, is something very different. So the end, the war at the end has to be won and the battles of life have to be won with the right way the right manner and for that you have to reveal me god says you have to reveal me with the right manner show the world that there is still hope in this world that yes genuinity trustworthiness truthfulness can work with self-protection yes you have to protect yourself and you have to have the wisdom to discern whether it's the right decision or the wrong decision to take. God then says, to make a promise means to put your life at stake. Even if you had to give up your life, you will not leave certain activities which God has asked us to. That means not getting into vices, whether it's lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment. Not leaving certain traits which are going to be harmful for other people. Not leaving the trait of being honest. Otherwise, you're going to harm somebody else's life, whether it's financially harming somebody's life, whether it's mentally, emotionally, relationally, or even in terms of physically harming somebody because of our own impurities, whether it's our own greed. And you don't let something pass by, let something happen in somebody's life because you're of your own greed. And that too is a vice. So then God says, those who make a promise with determination, cannot be defeated by any situation. Imagine a person with complete integrity. What can defeat him? Imagine a person with complete honesty. What does he have to lose? Imagine a person who is trustworthy and truthful. What does he have to lose? People might take advantage of him, but then those people are the, one who are the ones who are going to lose in the end. Not the end end of the ends. I'm talking about the present end. Each day ends and people are either sleeping with remorse, sleepless nights with lack of integrity, lack of peace or people are sleeping peacefully with a lot of integrity, honesty, trustworthiness, truthfulness, choices us and at the end of the day it's going to hamper our health also. Then God says they cannot be defeated by any situation. They become a garland around the neck that is they become victorious jewels. So revelation will take place when you make such a promise that I'm not going to use any impure habits, any impure thoughts. And thoughts, 
my words and my actions are going to be the same the balance of revelation and your promise is the basis of all souls receiving blessing from bab dada so if we maintain this balance thoughts words and actions are the same there is no disparity there is no difference amongst them then we can be called as godly children or godly people think about this deeply what is lacking in you because of the thoughts and the words and the actions are not the same that means each soul who is having this trouble of not having the thoughts words and actions the same is a peaceless soul learning more about this at brahma kumaris can happen for you do join to get into details about it with this om shanti